In the last video, I mentioned something uh, that I didn't expect when I laid out this course, and that was to show you when was a re website registered, and I just added it. So if you notice that this section was just added to the video and you didn't see it in the previous videos, then it's because I added it after I recorded some of the other videos. So when was a site registered? This is just a neat little trick uh, that you can do. So I have a link here that goes to GoDaddy.com and you want to look for a who is lookup and here's how we do it. You can also go to Google.com and type in who is lookup and you can find other websites to let you do this. So we're going to search for Rapid4x.com. I'll just pick on myself because you know I've got nothing to hide. So we want to search for the domain and you'll see rapid4x.com is already taken. Yeah, that's because I've registered it. So click here for info. You want to click for the info. And then it tells you to enter an access code. So we want to give them what they want. We type in the same letters and then we hit verify code. This is just so no automated computer programs can do it. And then you see this. Who is search results for rapid4x.com? And when you scroll down, you see a mailing address. And when you, see, you look for this, created on, and that says 13 October 04. That was the date it was originally registered. And as long as we keep renewing it, like we have it renewed till 2010 right now. And uh, not to disappoint you, but I can guarantee you that we will never let that site lapse. Uh, we're going to hold on to that domain name. Um, we bought it for $7.95 and now it's worth a lot more than that because we branded that name. So uh, you can do the same thing. And once you create it, I'm sure you won't want to part with it either for less than uh, what it's really worth. But you can see that it was created on the 13th of October 2004. You can also read some other details. You go through and you find phone numbers, you can find contact email addresses and stuff. So. I just want to let you know if you're trying to contact Rapid Forex, the best way to do that is to go on the website and submit a customer support form. Uh, that'll be the best way to contact us because uh, we check that more often than we check anything else. So that's the preferred method. So don't do a who is look up and think that you can contact me by looking for that information. Eventually you'll get through, but the preferred way is to go submit a ticket. That's the way we prefer it. So you can do a who is lookup and it tells you some interesting things. If you're trying to get a hold of someone at a website and you have no clue how to do it, you do a who is lookup and you can also tell when that website was registered. Now, why am I telling you to look at when a site was registered? Well, on the previous uh, few steps, if you're looking at your competitors and you want to see how long they've been online, then look to see when they were registered and you'll see you know they've been around for a few years and you know it seems like they have a pretty steady traffic and you can go to Alexa and look for a history of traffic and you can start seeing that you know people have been around and they've been making money in these markets for a while and you can learn from everything they're doing uh, all the results of what they've been doing for years